Emory W. Rogers and his family moved to Texas in 1847 and built a log cabin near the present-day Waxahachie. Also, he and his wife Nancy are considered the founders of Waxahachie. Before the Civil War, Rogers had a two-story building built that would become the first phase of the Rogers Hotel. Rogers' son Tandy helped manage the hotel up until his death in the 1860s. Rogers Sr. then sold the hotel to John Siddons in 1870, and it remained a hotel. In 1882, tragedy struck the hotel when it caught fire and burned the majority of the hotel down. The hotel was then reconstructed in 1911 with very elegant and, of course, dapper design. Yeah. Tragedy struck yet again with another fire that destroyed another large amount of the hotel. Reconstruction began a second time with a construction company from Dallas and still remains standing to this day. But just like any other old building, it has its stories that will make you check under the bed before turning out the lights. One story goes that the owner showed up one morning looking for the maintenance man and found him locked in his room, trembling with fear. The maintenance man told him that a man appeared in front of him dressed in 20s style clothing and asked the maintenance man to follow him down to the basement. Arriving in the basement, the stranger pointed to the empty pool and said, After that, he vanished into thin air. Also, during a Scarborough Fair wedding ceremony, a photographer caught some uninvited guests down in the lobby. Hey, Triple Legends here, Debbie Sexton and Zach at the Rogers Hotel. And we've got Katie here, who actually works here. Tell us a little bit about the hotel. Um, the hotel was built maybe about 103, four years ago. Um, it's burned down once. Oh, wow. And I think that was before the 100 years. But, um, so, it's haunted. About four people have died in this place. Now you said, well, we want to let everyone know that it's not a hotel anymore. It's not a hotel anymore. But yeah. you can stay a year if you wanted to, right? You could, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can sign a lease and then yeah, it'll so, be good. So, and, and you live here, and so what, uh, what have you experienced living here? Um, I took a shower one evening about the first week I lived here, which early June. Um, and I took a shower, turned off the shower, went to bed. I woke up the next morning, and uh, my bathtub was halfway filled with water water and the plug was plugged oh, wow. Uh, wow. and there's no leaks there's no drips plug stays up when you let it up so that was kind of weird um, I've worked here for about three years and uh, the elevator skits us out a little bit it's yeah about... the elevators behind her and it's actually mm -hmm. one of the cage those old time elevators yeah. but uh, but so sometimes it just random goes to random floors mm -hmm. I was uh, trying to get to the roof actually and uh, step inside and take me up to the fourth floor and then down to the basement and then just stopped at the mezzanine right up here. Now what's and in the basement? The basement um, holds the laundry room for the residents as well as some businesses and then um, the boiler room and uh, some storage units and, uh, and the pool as well. The pool, but the pool's no longer there. The right? pool's no longer there. Um, it, there was actually a hot spring that ran underneath the building which they turned into a pool when it was first a hotel, uh, but a little girl had drowned in the pool, so they cemented it all over. And so she's known to roam the hotel a little bit. Puddles of water will appear in random spots. Oh, wow. That's great. Now, you stuff. said, like, what, last week someone found a puddle spot? Uh, right here on the mezzanine. Right yeah. The... So there's a little girl, and then what else has happened here? Um, a couple of years, whenever the building was being built again, um, the owner's son was managing the building, and uh, I'm not really sure what happened, but he ended up hanging himself in the elevator shaft. Oh. And then uh, another gentleman, when he was staying here, shot himself and his wife in room 409. Now, is anyone living in 409? Yes. Oh my gosh, yes. have they complained about anything? They didn't even know that anyone did 
did it at first, but uh, now they're kind of on edge. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, so even though people can't um, stay in the hotel, you guys still have some businesses here, right? Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a restaurant, and then there's like massage, nail salon, hair salon all upstairs, a counseling office, and then they do do ghost tours every Saturday. Okay. Um, it might be every other Saturday, but they'll do it all over downtown Waxahachie. And this is their last stop. The last stop. Mm -hmm. And so you guys can find out more. Well, thanks, Katie. Yeah, yeah. thank you. All right, have a good one.